Hey, what's happening everybody? This is Robert the Leather Cowboy Muhammad with Premier Leather Crafters again with another video. Um, I thought this time would be a great time just to do an informational video. Not so much as about the showing the leather craft work or the artwork or whatever. But this is a very vital piece of information that I think every crafter should know, every crafter should have in their supply. And I just got a shipment in um, yesterday, Friday. I uh, just got a shipment in and where I had to reorder um, one of the most important products that I could ever use. In, and I use it in all of my leather pieces. And that's this Neat's Foot Oil. And this is what I want to talk to you guys about. I buy this stuff by the gallons here. And I buy the Neat's Foot Oil Compound. Now there are two types that are out there. You have Neat's, pure Neat's Foot Oil. And then I have, then you have the Neat's Foot Compound. Which Tandy has a great sale on right now. Um, for 19, for 20 bucks. 19 dollars $20. And I would encourage every crafter out there, some of the advanced, more advanced crafters already know about Neat's Foot Oil. But in this, this video actually stemmed off of a, a customer that I did some motorcycle bags for, or the tool bags, fork bags for. And I was telling them about treating it. Now, this particular client lives in Arizona to where it's super humid out there. And, I, and this is one reason... Um, just to give you uh, the information part, because he told me that he had some uh, mink oil. And I was like, no, 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 no. Never use mink oil or baby oil to treat any of your leather products. Never. Even the seats in your car. If your seats in your car is leather, never put baby oil or mink oil in your seats. And I know the company sell this stuff and... And they try to tell you a whole lot about it. Oh, man, it's not going to hurt it. Yes, it does. And here's why. Mink oil and baby oil is made from the animal's fat. And we all know in fat, especially in this date and time and era where everybody is more health conscious, animal fat has sugar. And the sugar works directly against the, the flesh of the leather. So... And here's the thing, it helps promote the breaking down of leather more than it does help protecting it. So now Nice Foot Oil, it's a yellowish oil that's made from the extracts of the shin bone and the foot of the animal, or whether it be the, the horse or be it a, a, a cattle, cows. Um, I think more or less Nate's foot oil is being made more from the horse shins and the horse foot feet. But it also can come from the cattle foot as well. So, or the cattle shin bone as well. But it's no animal fat. It's not made from animal fat. And so you don't have to worry about the sugar being in that oil to help break down the leather. Which is another reason, I think I'm going to interject this part in here, which is another reason why I don't use a lot of metal in my, my pieces. I try to use the least amount of metal as I possibly can. One, I want you to focus on the artwork and the detailing. And two, metal, once metal starts to oxidize, it starts to rust. And then when that rust works in conjunction with the animal fat from mink oil and baby oil, it really speeds up the process of breaking that particular piece down. Uh, I have a, a, a saddle over here um, that a customer wanted me to refurbish for. And that's what happened in that saddle, especially pieces that are exposed to the elements. So all of your your bikers, your your horse riders, um, all of those pieces, they really stay out in the elements because if you're riding constantly on your bike or if you're out there riding on, on your horses, your pieces are exposed to the elements of the weather. And now down south, uh, it's very humid down here. So I tend to tell my customers here down south, um, you can treat it about once a month. And you can get away with, and that piece would last a long time, long time. 
and especially my local customers, as a little extra bonus for them purchasing from me locally, I always tell them and I always promote, bring it back to me and I will treat it for you for free. Now, I have customers that are outside of Alabama, that's outside of my area to where I can't treat it locally or treat it as often as it needs to be. So I generally send a little one ounce bottle of oil with their piece when they purchase it. Now, depending on the size of the piece, that one ounce bottle of oil should last anywhere from two to three months, depending on the location. Now, for my customers who are Midwest and further west where it's not so humid and the weather is a lot dry, you have to treat that more often. I would tell you to treat it more often. Um, now, some crafters out there may tell you the direct difference. But in that dry heat, it's really going to extract the, the moisture out of that piece faster. God knows, uh, I was on a bike ride. We did a bike ride to uh, California two years ago. And man, when you hit Arizona and even the western part of Texas, is really miserable out there. And when you're talking about 100 degrees, it's really pulling that moisture in the oil out of that leather piece very, very fast. Especially if you're out there riding every day. Beautiful weather, but it's extremely hot. So I would tell them to treat it at least once a week or at least the minimum twice a month. And you can never put too much oil in your leather products. I don't believe you can put too much oil. This is one reason why I have a lot of my, like this bag, uh, motorcycle bag roll cover. Now, I don't line a lot of my products. I don't put lining in a lot of my products. Now, some products you have to put your lining in, like wallets, uh, sometimes purses. But even I have gotten away from lining the interior part of those because if you're treating it, you're, you're going to have to put it on the grain side which is the tool side or the whatever side that you carve, you're going to have to put that oil on that side. Now, and it's generally going to turn that piece darker. Oil is going to turn whatever you've done darker. So if it's a saddle tan and you started putting that oil on that saddle tan, it's going to make it darker. If you don't already have a sealer on there. Now, keep in mind, sealer it's exactly what it says. It seals all of those colors and all of that uh, that that uh, paint that you put up under up under it. It seals it in. So if it seals the paint in from fading, then directly anything that you put on top of that is not going to penetrate that sealer. So I tend to not put a lining on the inside of my products. So therefore, the oil can penetrate through the flesh side. Now, leather being a flesh material, just like our skin, you have to put lotion on your skin. You have to. You got to keep it moisturized. So leather, and this is a living organism. Your skin is a living flesh. So, but especially so as it is with your leather products, which is a dead flesh. It's already off of the cow itself. So there's no uh, blood being circulated or pushed to to that skin to those skin cells so you have to treat it now diamonds aren't the only thing that lasts forever leather lasts just as long if you have it properly treated and this is why i recommend that you guys go out and put treat it with your neat's foot oil i highly recommend you use neat's foot oil you don't have to get it from tandy if you don't want to i'm just telling you that tandy has a sale on it right now so take advantage of that sale uh a lot of companies, a lot of leather companies, uh, they have needs for it all. So take advantage of it. I don't care how much it costs. Get it and put it in your arsenal of supplies that you will need. Uh, and just as an added bonus, you can do like I do. Uh, and uh, for your out-of-state or out-of-town customers, send them a bottle of needs for it all so they'll know not to use mink oil. Mink oil, and that is an extra added information that you can pass on to your customers is do not use mink oil or baby oil. Please don't. It will it works directly against your leather. And you can tell that prime example, a lot of the cars now that have leather seats, 
and you can see where the sun is cracking in uh, the heat is coming in from the sun and it's drying out the, the moisture in, the, in those seats and you start seeing seats crack you start seeing them peel that's because it's not being properly treated and if you treat it with neat's foot oil it la makes that leather soft which is another uh, advantage to using the oil neat's foot oil it makes it soft it makes it more breathable and it makes it last just as long i hope that this helped you guys just a little bit of information um we'll get back to the showing just some extra tooling tips and all of that stuff how to save money and how to bring in more customers and generate more money but i hope that this helped you guys neat's foot oil get you some neat's foot neat's foot neat's foot Big fan, big promoter of it. This is Robert the Leather Cowboy Muhammad right here at Premier Leather Crafters. We'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.